Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today I will demonstrate you how to develop the Android app to blink the flashlight for few seconds. So let's start developing Android Studio project. First of all you can click on start new Android Studio project. Then you can choose the empty activity. Then here you can just provide the name of your application. I am just giving the name of my application is blink flashlight demo. Then you can choose the language that whatever you want to choose. I'm just choosing the language that is Kotlin. Let me show you what I want to do first. In design, I want to take a one button that is related to blink the light. Whenever user click on that particular button, I want to blink the my flash light for few seconds, right? So uh, first of all, I'm just moving to my design. Then you can switch to design and text both preview. Now here I am just setting in te uh, this text view, just drag and drop moving it in upper side. Then you can just uh, click on show layout decoration also. Now I am giving the size in this text view that is text to size that is for example 40 SP is fine. Text color primary dark, text style that is bold. And here you can just provide the text. I'm just giving the text that is blink flash light. Now I want to take a one button. Whenever user click on this button, I want to blink the flash light, right? So I'm just taking one button over here. You can give the name of name to this button is blink. Whenever user click on this button, that is blink button, and the ID is button. So I need to move on my code now. Here, first of all, you need a permission from the user to access the camera. So I'm just moving to my Android manifest.xml. Here you need to provide, uh, you need to get the permission from the user. That is, I want to access the camera. So you can once uh, write the permission for camera. Not only this, you need to request for the permission also. So you need to check for the permission first. So I'm just checking if activity compact dot check self permission here uh, you can uh, add the two parameter one is the context another is the permission so i'm just passing this and permission that is manifest that is from android package manifest dot permission dot and that is camera if this permission is not granted by the user it means package manager dot permission granted is not there not equal to package manager dot permission granted then we will request for the permission so i'm just uh, requesting activity compact dot request permission in current context and which permission you want from the user here you can add the variable number of arguments that is array of and here you can just write the list of permissions that you want to you want from the user so i'm just writing here manifest dot permission dot camera <clears throat> And here you can pass the request code if user click on allow or deny. Whenever user click on allow or deny, I am just checking here that is the function that is on request permission result. If request code equal equal 1 to 3 and grant result of 0, it means the first permission is granted by the user the permission is granted then what you want to do simply i want to enable my button is enabled is equal to true so definitely uh, before this i need to disable my button so i'm just doing what button dot is enabled is equal to false if this permission is not granted then we will request it if it is already granted then we will just make the enabling our button that is is enabled equal to true now what we want to do whenever user click on this button <clears throat> once your permission part is over whenever user click on this button i want to access the camera and i want to blink the flashlight for that you need a one variable that is camera manager and you need to initialize using system service so i'm just doing what I'm calling the function that is get system service and here you need to pass the camera service that you need to uh, by default this variable is an assigned as any right any data type 
but if you need if you cast over here as camera manager then it will be casted to camera manager instance now whenever user click on this button so i'm just writing the code for button button dot set on click listener here you can write the code for the button so i'm just uh, doing what first of all i want to check if package manager dot has a system feature for the flashlight if this feature is there then and then i want to move forward so i'm just passing the argument that is package manager dot feature camera flash if this feature is available then and then i want to move ahead otherwise i don't want to do anything over here so uh, if this feature is available then i'm taking one variable that is light is equal to false by default i'm just assigning it variable it as a false so uh, by default my light is false and whenever a user click on the blink i'm just uh, passing the value that is true false true false true false to this variable that is light so i'm taking one more variable that is s over here and that is for the string i'm just passing the value over here 10101010101010101010 let me clear what this one and zero is one means whenever i get the value one i want to make the this variable value that is true and whenever the value is a zero i want to make this variable value that is false and that i will pass into that is torch so uh, flashlight i want to just click on uh, true false true false true false right so for that i need to definitely call the for loop so i am uh, writing here one for loop for i in here you can call s dot indices is the function uh, here using indices you can get the every index of your variable s so s having the so many value that is 10101010 and you can access it in uh, using the index i so what i am doing i am just checking if s of i equal equal 1 if this value is 1 then i will just make my light is equal to true else light is equal to false it means if the value is 1 then i am just making it true if the value is 0 then i am just making it false you can uh, remove your redundant code so you can just press alter enter over here and you can re uh, remove the redundant if statement so what happened if s of i equal equal 1 then the true will be initialized with the light and if s of i equal equal not 1 then the false will be assigned to light so uh, you can write the code like this now if build dot build dot version dot sdk integer is greater than or equal to build dot version codes dot marshmallow if it means that if the version of the user mobile operating system android operating system is greater than or equal to marshmallow then i am calling camera manager dot set torch mode here you need to provide the two argument one is the camera id and the second one is what you want to do with the torch do you want to on or off if you want to on then you just need to pass the true value into this boolean and if you don't then you just need to pass the false value in this boolean so i am passing what here see cm dot camera id list of zero and then the second argument in which i will just pass value that is light so what happen if the light has the value that is one it means true will be passed over here if, if it is not one then the false will be passed over here and whenever I pass all this value inside the uh, after this I want to just wait uh, for I want to put the uh, slip over here so what I am doing see thread dot slip and I will uh, just pass the 50 milliseconds it means my um, after fill uh, it means after 50 milliseconds the next iteration of the for loop will occur first one will be passed it means uh, first if if it is one then the flashlight will be on if it is zero then the flashlight will be off so let's see right uh, so let me execute this application in my 
actual device so i am executing it in my actual device so let me execute whenever you execute this application it is executed see here gradle build is running on see installation is done see what happened uh, this application is asking me the permission i'm just clicking on allow whenever you click on allow it enables my button that is uh, that button is blank now whenever you click on this button blank see what happens it is blinking the light if you click again it is blinking the light so this is the way you can implement this type of application in your actual mobile uh, to test this type of application you need a actual device because uh, we need a camera flash feature right so whenever uh, if this feature is available then and then we will move ahead what i am doing over here the value of s is passed over here that is 10101010 and for every interval i am just passing the value that is uh, up to 50 millisecond and for uh, i'm just doing the one iteration loop right and in this iteration i'm just setting the torch mode with the value light if it is one then i'm just passing the true if it is not one then i'm just passing the false so this is the way you can implement the blink flashlight in your android right that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you all